Yosemite Valley is famous for its waterfalls, and for a hundred years they also had a firefall, which was a bonfire built at Glacier Point and then pushed over the edge at 9 o'clock in the evening to delight the visitors watching below. But by 1969, the practice was discontinued because it caused crowding and it wasn't a, a natural event. But now that's been replaced by a natural firefall caused by the setting sun, and lots of people crowd into Yosemite now to watch that in February. Galen Rowell was a famous mountaineer and photographer who visited Yosemite very often, and one time he caught this photo of Horsetail Falls coming off the eastern flank of El Capitan and the sunlight hitting it as it was setting. Famed photographer Ansel Adams knew about this too, but the, at the time they called this waterfall El Capitan Fall. Here are the conditions necessary for this natural event to occur. The sun setting at the proper angle, water in Horsetail Falls, and clear skies. The proper angle for the setting sun occurs in mid to late February and mid to late October on either side of the winter solstice. The angle for the setting sun is between 252 and 260 degrees. There also has to be water in Horsetail Falls, which is originally called El Capitan Fall. It's an ephemeral waterfall and only drains a watershed of about 40 acres. There also needs to be clear skies to the west so that the setting sun shines its light on El Capitan. If you want to study this over, go ahead and stop the video and we'll read it over at this point. From the south looking northward at El Capitan, the closest feature to you is called El Capitan's nose. This feature is one of the factors that makes the firefall effect possible. Its shadow, caused by the setting sun during February and October, darkens the eastern wall that has Horsetail Falls at the end. The firefall happens when the nose's shadow makes an edge between light and dark as its shadow moves across the wall, leaving a vertical sliver of orange or red light when it reaches the fall. Here's looking at it from the perspective of Yosemite's famous tunnel view. You can see El Capitan's nose, the eastern wall, and then Horsetail Fall, if it has water. So we're in Yosemite Valley, looking up at El Capitan. And this is February, so this is the time of year we have the firefall effect, which could happen if all the conditions are right. So El Capitan's nose, right here, casts a shadow across the eastern wall, and at the eastern end of the wall, you'll have Horsetail Falls, if there's water in it. And when that water comes out, when the sun sets at just the right angle, and turns red and close to the horizon, then the droplets of water of Horsetail Falls can catch that red sun light and appear to glow and be on fire. And that's what they're now calling the firefall. Here's a picture of El Capitan taken from Taft Point that shows just what a limited drainage basin the Horsetail Fall actually has. The area inside the circle is all that feeds Horsetail Falls. In this satellite view, you can see the direction from which we're viewing El Capitan. So we're in Yosemite. <laughs> February 11th, 2019, hoping to see the firefall effect. We had lots of snow recently, and right here is El Capitan. Now the reason this happens in February is because as the sun is setting, the nose of El Capitan, which is right here, casts a shadow across its own eastern wall, and at the eastern end of the eastern wall is Horsetail Falls. Okay, we're in Yosemite. It's October 27th, 2019, and we're trying to demonstrate for ourselves that the firefall effect of the setting sun does happen this time of the year as well, not just February. We're an equal number of weeks before the winter solstice as the February is after the solstice, so this should be should be a firefall effect happening here. It's just no water in Horsetail Falls, but we should get the firefall effect here. Anyway, at least as far as the sun angles are concerned, and we have no clouds in the sky at the moment, no uh, clouds to the west, we get a setting sun. So it should be happening, and it does look like it, it's going to happen.
In looking at this October footage again, I discovered that instead of water coming down the falls, there's actually dust coming up from the valley, and it's catching sunlight and showing a firefall effect, only in reverse. So here we are in October 27th, 2019, and you can see the little firefall effect does seem to be happening. This setting sun in February is greatly speeded up. During this particular visit in February of 2019, it was too cold for water to be in the waterfall, but there was snow. We were able to record on video several avalanche falls from the edge of El Capitan's wall, but this one was the most dramatic. Here's a closer look of that snowfall so you can see it better. We have viewed the firefall effect from the El Capitan picnic area and from the bend of the Merced River on the south side drive. Here are some still images we've taken of the firefall effect over the years that are trying to get the best possible view of it. We've been trying now since 2008. We've looked for other YouTube videos that explain the firefall effect, but we think ours probably explains it the best of any that we've seen, and we hope you agree and that you'll like and subscribe to our channel.